give your body what it needs. If you're feeling dizzy from your nausea, try not to move around too much, even when your stomach is doing somersaults unless vomiting is imminent. The most important thing to do when fighting dizziness is to keep your head still. Apply a cool, wet cloth to your forehead. Although it won't treat the nausea or make it pass more quickly, many people find that a dampened rag can ease the suffering significantly. Lay back or tilt your head back so the cloth stays in place on your forehead, and re-wet it as necessary. Relax. Anxiety is known to make nausea worse, so try to stop obsessing about how your sickness is interfering with your plans. Make sure you get enough sleep, and take naps to rest during the day. Whether you feel better or worse when you wake up, at least you won't experience the nausea for the time you re-sleep. Try deep breathing to treat a light upset stomach. The deep breaths create a different rhythm pattern in the stomach. Surround yourself with pleasant aromas. Studies suggest that inhaling the vapor from essential oils like peppermint and ginger oil can help ease nausea, but thus far the results have been inconclusive. However, many people do feel better when surrounded by pleasant smells, whether from vaporized essential oils or a scented candle. Remove bad odors from your environment. Ask someone to take out the trash or clean the litter box, and avoid sitting in hot rooms. Distract yourself. Sometimes just taking a walk and getting some fresh air will help your body feel better. The sooner you do it after the onset of nausea, the easier it will be. However, make sure not to distract yourself with activities that will worsen the nausea. If anything makes you feel worse, stop that activity immediately. Have regular meals and snacks. If you feel nauseous, food may be the last thing you want to think about. However, it should be at the top of your list of cures. Hunger from skipping meals and snacks will only make you feel even sicker, so get over your temporary food aversion to get back on track. Follow the BRAT diet. BRAT stands for bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. This bland diet is recommended for people suffering from upset stomachs or diarrhea because bland foods are easy to digest and keep down. While it will not cure the nausea, it will shorten the duration of your symptoms and prevent reactions from bad food choices. This is not a long-term diet. You should be able to slowly switch to a more regular diet in 24 to 48 hours. Use ginger. Studies show that about 1 gram of ginger can effectively reduce nausea. Take up to 1 gram of ginger at a time, up to 4 grams per day. If you are pregnant, ask your doctor before taking ginger. The dosage for pregnancy ranges from 650 mg to 1 gram, but should never exceed 1 gram. There are many ways to work ginger into your snacks, though none of them provide a high dose. Nibble crystallized ginger. Make ginger tea by steeping grated fresh ginger in boiling water. Buy and drink ginger ale. Not everyone will respond to ginger. A portion of the population will not get relief from use of ginger, for unknown reasons. Make use of peppermint. Although there isn't a scientific consensus on peppermint, there are some studies that show that it can effectively soothe nausea. Peppermint has been used for digestive problems such as heartburn and indigestion, and it may help stop spasms in the stomach that lead to vomiting. Peppermint-flavored candies such as Mentos or Tic Tacs should be eaten in moderation, as sugary sweets can make nausea worse. Sugar-free peppermint gum is an option, but be careful. Chewing brings a lot of air into the stomach and can cause bloating, worsening the nauseous sensations. If you're still on a liquid diet, peppermint tea is a great option. Drink enough fluids. Drinking 8 to 10 glasses of clear liquids every day is important for overall health, but it's especially important when you're sick. If your nausea is accompanied by vomiting, take special care to keep yourself hydrated. Try a flat soda to ease your stomach. Although it is high in sugar, flat soda can be useful to a queasy stomach. To make a soda flat, put it in a Tupperware-like container, shake, let out the air, seal, 
and shake, until no more carbonation is left. Cola has been used as an anti-nausea cure for a long time, even before the use of it in soft drinks. Stay away from harmful drinks. Although drinking liquids is important, there are some drinks that will make your nausea worse. Alcohol, caffeine, and carbonated beverages, for example, are not useful for nausea treatment, as they can further irritate the stomach. Seek relief with non-prescription drugs. If you're sure that the nausea has a temporary cause and isn't a symptom underlying medical issue, you can take a variety of over-the-counter medications. For example, nausea from an upset stomach or gastroenteritis can be treated with Pepto-Bismol, Maalox, or Mylanta. Nausea from motion sickness, though, would be better treated with Dramamine. See a doctor for prescription medication if necessary. Some medical procedures, like surgery or cancer treatment, can cause severe nausea that requires prescription strength drugs. Nausea can also be a symptom of various medical conditions, such as chronic kidney disease or peptic ulcers. There are many different classes of drugs that can be used to treat nausea, and a doctor will be able to match your cause to an appropriate medication. Take all medications as directed. Read the labels on over-the-counter medications closely for dosage instructions, and follow them carefully. Prescription medication also carries instructions on the packaging, but defer to your doctor's instructions. She may slightly alter your dosage based on her knowledge of your medical history. Think of whether you're sick. One of the main causes of nausea is simply having an illness. A flu bug, stomach ailment, or other illnesses can be a major cause of nausea. Consider food allergies or food intolerance. If you have frequent bouts of nausea, keep a journal for a couple weeks to see if you can find a pattern that points to the culprit. If you suspect food intolerance or other reactions, avoid or limit the food and talk to your doctor. Make sure medication isn't the cause of your nausea. Before introducing more drugs into your system to treat the nausea, you should first make sure that the source itself isn't one of the medications you're already on. Many drugs, like codeine or hydrocodone, can cause nausea and vomiting. If you suffer from ongoing nausea, talk to your doctor about whether any of your medications listed as a side effect. He or she may be able to suggest an alternate medication or a lower dosage. Consider the possibility of motion sickness. Some people get sick riding on planes, boats, or in cars. It can also be caused by things such as riding on carnival rides. This can be prevented by choosing the seat that will typically have the least motion. Know that morning sickness from pregnancy will pass. Though commonly called morning sickness, the nausea that comes with the early, and sometimes later, stages of pregnancy and can come at any time in the day. In most cases, the nausea passes after the first trimester, so stay strong and wait it out. However, if it is severe, frequent, or increasing, see your doctor. Hydrate your body if you have a hangover. If you had it too much to drink the night before, you need to regain fluence before your body can start to feel better. There are also products available over the counter, like Alka-Seltzer Morning Relief, that are formulated to speed up the recovery process from a hangover. Hydrate to treat gastroenteritis, as well. A stomach flu or bug can cause mild to severe nausea and vomiting, and is often accompanied by stomach pain, diarrhea, and fever. Vomiting and diarrhea can dehydrate the body so make sure to replenish yourself with plenty of water and sports drinks. If you're having trouble keeping liquids down, try taking frequent, small sips rather than chugging a drink. Signs of dehydration include dark urine, dizziness and dry mouth. Check for dehydration. 
in cases of heat exhaustion and other situations in which a person can get dehydrated, ironically one of the symptoms may be nausea. Know when to turn to a doctor. There are many serious conditions which can also cause nausea including hepatitis, ketoacidosis, serious head injuries, food poisoning, pancreatitis, bowel obstruction, appendicitis or others. Contact your doctor if you cannot keep any food or liquid down, vomit three or more times in one day, have nausea for more than 48 hours, feel weakness, have a fever, have stomach pain, or have not urinated for eight hours or more. Seek emergency care if necessary. In most cases, nausea is not a reason to head to the ER. However, if you observe any of the following symptoms, you may need to get emergency attention. Chest pain, severe abdominal pain or cramping, blurred vision or fainting, confusion, high fever and stiff neck, severe headache, or, vomit contains blood or is like coffee ground. 